And since we ran out of time in the last recording, we're going to go ahead and continue the installation. And I chose install after providing all the necessary installation for Solaris. Now, when you actually do this install, it would go a lot smoother. A lot of clunkiness that you may have seen in the video, scrolling the screen back and forth, moving the mouse around, had to do with the fact that I need to record at a certain resolution, 800 by 600, to get the whole thing to fit nicely in this video you're watching. You won't have that problem and everything will fit on your screen. Basically on the left side you would see the various stages, setting the time zone, the passwords, this actual installation, and then when it's finished this would highlight. Also in the center of your screen you would see after filling out all the necessary information, the progress of the installation, we're at 8% now. And it tells us that it's building the different file packages. This may be useful later on, but right now you could just safely ignore that. And when it's finished, we would go ahead and restart the computer. So I'm going to actually pause the video, the recording of the video right now, and let the installation complete. We'll come back to it after the files have been copied. We're up to 36% of the installation, so we still have a little way to go. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video again, and we'll come back as it gets closer, the en closer to the end, or at the end, where most typically a reboot would be necessary. Then you could go ahead and log into your brand new Solaris installation with the username and password you gave at the start.
Okay, so I'm back to finish up this video because I'm not sure if you could see this, but the Open Solaris is finished installing and it's asking me to log in with my username and password after the reboot. The installation is ready to be used, but I am completely out of resources, as you could see here. I'm verging on the, I'm on the verge of uh, a complete crash of my computer, of my Windows operating system. My memory is also exhausted. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. And in the next video, we'll log in to Solaris and um, look around. Thankfully, this is a virtual machine, so I was managed. I was able to pause it, and I could resume like this. Of course, if you notice, I'm now at a hundred percent, and I'm about to. And hopefully, I would get back a CPU cycle here to uh, go ahead and save this video. Uh, the last minute or so of this video, you could completely. Ignore it had nothing to do with the Solaris installation. Just a little bit of computer geek stuff and the difficulty sometimes in managing tasks. But again, uh, you should be able to download Solaris now and install it on a new piece of hardware, a new or old PC, or inside this virtual box um, virtualization software if you have it. So that's it for this video.